Happy Hanukkah. What is it really about? Do we just eat donuts? Do we light candles? Do we take selfies? Do we spin the dreidel? Do we eat lots of yummy food? Why don't you listen along and find out what it's about? This morning I want to share with you some ideas, some something to think about when the candles are alight. These are my ideas from the past few nights. If you have your own, why don't you email them to me? We can share our reflections on Hanukkah. There's no fire without a match. Always thank the people in your life who gave you the opportunities to shine and to glow and to make a mark on the world. Appreciate the people who were your match for your fire. Don't cry. That was just the first night. Seven more glorious nights to go. What are you going to think about for night number four? But here's my ideas for nights two and three. Be proud for what you achieved today. You're one step further than you were yesterday. Yesterday was one, today is two. Look at what you've got to, got to achieve. Be happy what you've done, but keep on making an effort. Three candles, but look at all those blank spaces. Freedom and victory and rights and the ability to make choices come at a cost. If the candles describe the miracle, then the blank spaces describe those people whose lives were lost so that the rest of us can have our freedom. Never forget how challenging it is to be free and how precious that gift really is. So tonight, what I want you to do, light the candle, send the photo, and then think of something. Think of those candles. What message can you take from the fourth night of Hanukkah? And good morning, King David High School. Here we are again, Hanukkah. Day number three, and you are looking at the Wheel of Names. Now, we don't have as many names as we had yesterday, which means that those who have submitted their pictures with their lit menorah have a better chance of winning. But still, 184 of you have submitted your pictures. So well done. Really, really well done. Today, we'll be giving away two prizes, uh, a 50-pound um, Amazon voucher twice, two times. So we're looking for two names two winners. Before we get to that, I'd like to once again thank our good friends at C-Team for sponsoring the prizes for you. Really well done. Amazing partners that we have at King David High School. And also, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the boys and girls who are taking part in the Tefillin Incentive Program. Keep on wearing your Tefillin. Keep on bringing in your sitters. Keep on saying the Shema. Lots of prizes to be given there as well, as well as free lunches. Don't worry, you have not been forgotten. Just put it to the back burner a bit, just a little bit, as we go through Hanukkah. So here we go. Without further ado, let's click to spin the wheel and see who will win the first 50 pound gift card. And the winner is... Sam Haver. Well done, Sam Haver. Look at that. 50 pound Amazon gift voucher is coming your way. Let's remove your name. That means there's 183 pupils left from your 7 to 11. Who will join Sam with a 50-pound Amazon voucher? Let's see. Oh, the suspense is fantastic. And the winner is... <laughs> Sasha Hurst. Fantastic. Unbelievable. Well done to our winner, Sam Heber. And to Sasha Hurst. Um, we have more prizes to give away. Um, to be fair, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's either AirPods or Beats head headphones. I think it's AirPods. But regardless, don't forget, light your menorahs tonight. Take a picture. Email it to Hanukkah at kdhigh.co.uk. And um, who knows? The next prize might be yours. All right. That's it from me. Have a lovely day, everyone. Be safe and keep well.